It is definitely that bittersweet time of year where summer is starting to wind down to an end. Many mm. students are preparing to head back to school. And while this transition can bring many emotions at any stage, it certainly brings the full range for that transition to college, mm. especially for the parents who might be sending their teenagers off to college for the first time. Both the parents and their kids will potentially experience this in a wide variety of ways. That's yeah. a nice way of putting it. So today we have Dr. Michael Walker here to talk about how to prepare your college bound kids transition to independence. Dr. Walker, thanks for being there uh, here with us this morning because I know it's this has been a very emotional time for you. That is correct. I just got back from taking my freshman to college uh, this past weekend. How did it go? I mean, it, it went it went as as expected, I guess. You know, there's a like like I said in the beginning, it's a whole lot of range of emotions that you're going through. Um, your child is going through emotions. I mean, there's anxiety, there's nervousness, you know, the fear of uncertainty. I was talking with uh, Aaron before we came on about the fact that, you know, you don't know who your roommate's going to be. And during our time when we went away to college, we had to send a picture of us in the mail for them to see who we were, right? I mean, now they have all this technology, FaceTime and Snapchat and all these things. Where they can see instantly who their um, roommate is going to be. So it's just a different time of uh, how they're transitioning on to, to college. I'm curious, how was your daughter's transition? What did you see out of your daughter when she made that transition to college? Yeah, so this weekend was different, right? Uh, obviously, she was excited um, heading up to getting ready to go to college. So like, you know, a month away, all the excitement started to happen. And then when it got to be the week that we we're getting ready to go down there, uh oh, now things start to change where I don't know if I'm ready to go. Or I don't think I want to go yet. I want to be with my family. Yeah. So we start to see her become closer to us in the sense of she know that this time is coming where she's going to be away from us for an extended amount of time. And now she wanted to so she wanted to go to eat. She wanted to uh, hang out and watch movies and just be in the presence of her family. So we start to see that happening. Okay, so Michael, as someone who counsels folks, but also as a dad, what advice do you have for parents now that you've gone through this? Yeah, I would say the one thing that you have to uh, really stand on is the fact that you have prepared your child for what's out there in the world, right? So I know you're gonna be worried about safety. I know you're gonna be worried about um, how your child's gonna connect with friends and, and what type of activities you're gonna get involved in in school. And so you have to trust that what you did along the way has prepared them for that. And one thing that, that we do like in organization is we do like exit interviews um, to figure out how we did with this employee. And so what I did with my daughter is we had a breakfast and I did an exit interview to just <laughs> ask her questions about how does she feel about being prepared for college? Did we as her parents do a good job of making sure that she was ready uh, for that? And while she's at college, can we still have these conversations about how I can be better preparing my younger her, 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 her younger siblings for their next stage? So we get that information and we have to do something with that information. And fortunate, I have three kids who are coming behind her that I can use that information from her to be better for them. Well, Dr. Walker, let's uh, go and get an assessment. How'd you do on your report card? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I did okay. She said we did a good job. She said we, you know, we gave her the right amount of like um, independence while she was going through her high school years, but also just enough of oversight as well too, so that she knew how to make decisions and she knew that her, uh, what her decisions would mean to her when she made, you know, a mistake on those decisions. So she said we did a really good balance of that. Uh, she was really excited that, you know, we allowed her to kind of select what school she wanted to go to and where she wanted to go because she's down in Alabama, which is, you know, about 17 hours away from us, which is a long ways away. Uh, so she said we did a pretty good job, but we'll see, you know, once she's in that in that space, uh, that's where the real test comes into play. And actually, as a parent, I'm kind of ex I'm kind of excited for that, because, again, it's a test to see how we did and how we prepared her for um, for life outside of our home. And uh, that's what I'm excited to learn about. Again, I'll take that feedback and use that with my other children to make sure that I'm doing the adjustments that I need to make sure that they are prepared. Really quick, because we're out of time, but doesn't that give you a sense of validation when you hear hear those things from your daughter too though like we're, we're doing it right we we're doing it right we feel good of course it does and i would say don't wait till the exit interview for that there can be some checkpoints along the way that you can do when they're in ninth 10th 11th grade to see how you're doing so that you can make those adjustments earlier and often so that it's not a big deal when you get to that senior year and they're going away or getting ready to go off to college all right well michael congratulations to yeah. you to your daughter to your family just all great stuff 
Thanks for having me. And Jada, have a great first year of college. We're really looking forward to it. <laughs> Good stuff.